Peg Gang, Ronan here. As you can see in this game, I'm playing the Tier 9 Dutch cruiser Johan de Witt. And this is mixed tier matchmaking with 9, 8, and, uh, well, an absence of anything else. So, unusual in that regard. No CV in the game, which is, uh, well, I won't say it's unfortunate. But uh, <laughs> this ship actually can shoot down some aircraft. Now, if it's a tier 10 CV, it's still going to get through. Tier 8, you're going to eat a lot of planes. <clears throat> but um, I wanted to follow up fairly quickly uh, my video on uh, the Dutch cruiser Harlem. It took me a little while to figure out how I could play the ships effectively, but I think I've got it, well, certainly not dialed in, but closer to it. Let's just say that. Uh, the last game, I think it was the last game that I played in the Harlem before unlocking this was a Kraken with very little damage. And um, this is very similar. Now the guns here are a little bit bigger and a little bit better. They're a little bit more effective in terms of the damage that they can do, but they're still not what I would call really good guns. These are, um, I guess you could argue these are more like super cruiser caliber, but they just are not that effective. Now the AP can be effective if you can catch particularly broadside cruisers, but even against uh, battleships, if you aim in the right place, you can do significant damage with the AP. What I was doing with the Harlem, once I kind of figured out a relatively effective way to play the ship, was uh, trying to get damage over time with fires between the airstrike bombs and the HE shells, I was able to I was able to be reasonably effective. And by that, I, I don't mean gobs and gobs of damage. These ships are difficult to do a lot of damage with. Even if you play really well, they're tough to get a lot of damage with. But if you position reasonably well and pay attention to what's going on in the mini-map and kind of the surrounding area, you can be effective. You can help your team. And, and in this game, while I did get a Kraken in this game, this was actually not the best game that I've had in this ship in the handful of games that I've played in. You can see our ZF-6 takes out the enemy Yugamo, which is a great start for the team. Um, this is not the best game that I had in terms of, uh, uh, I think, XP or damage or number of shells on target or pretty much anything. But... I liked the positioning and the fact that I was able to take advantage of the pretty good concealment on these ships, on this ship in particular, to be able to get some broadside shots, which you'll see here in a bit, while avoiding the big return shots. Now, I'm certainly no Super Unicum player, but in most ways in this game, I can hold my own, and at least, although it may take me a little while to figure out, uh, at least play respectively. Respective. What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, decently, I guess. I'll go with that. Now you can see the Balti's just kind of sitting back there. And in case you're wondering what I did there, if you press the M key and then press it again really quick, what it does is it takes you, starts to take you to the map view. And then you press it again, it brings you right back down. But it'll tell you kind of where the ship over the island is sitting so you can see i picked up two overpens on a balti there for 1220 damage very disappointing and now i'm looking at who can i shoot next what's the next broadside i can try and make use of this ap now i don't want to push too far out here i want to try and use this island if i can that's uh, just off my port side But I'm not going to have much choice, I think. I'm going to have to kind of head on out here, which you'll see. Then I'll turn around, make use of the concealment, and fall back and get back to my position there by the island. And of course, just as I... <laughs> just as I intend to drop the airstrike, I lose line of sight, but uh, that's all right. So we got a few big ships that are kind of pushing toward this gap here, and I'm really hoping to be able to capitalize on that. But you can see everybody's starting to turn. Now, if you can catch somebody heading more or less straight, 
you might be able to land some bombs, but 14.65 seconds from the time you click to, to target that area to the time that the bombs are striking the target. So I've, I've done that. I'll let them go. I was already in my turn. I'm hoping to be able to avoid a broadside shot from Aegir. And I land a little bit of damage on him. I can see the Bismarck out there. I'm targeted by two, so I know I'm done shooting. I'm just going to try and go dark here before I get pummeled. And uh, <laughs> the airstrike, well, pretty ineffective. It's unfortunate, but anybody paying attention, they can see the instant that you, you launch the airstrikes. And they can tell the line that they're on, and they can tell whether or not it's coming toward them. And they can accelerate or slam on the brakes or or turn one way or the other, and often they can, they can avoid taking much damage. Iowa sailing broadside, so I'm going to try and take advantage of that. He's got his guns kind of pointed towards Stalingrad, etc., in the B-cab. But as you can see, there's just not a whole lot of punching power in these guns. Now our team is off to a really good start. The enemy Aland is gone, the enemy Yugamo is gone. And because the eye was angled up, I'm going to start putting some HE out there and maybe try and start some fires. And I do manage to burn down the Iowa, although I didn't really do much of any damage there. I'm sitting at 11,702 damage, and I'm back here to my island that I can use as cover. And I'm just kind of taking a look at the map. What's How's it unfolding? Where's the best place for me to hole up and get ready to drop bombs? Balti's reversing. I'm hoping to catch him, but he already knows. I mean, his AA is already firing. He already knows he's uh, he's the target. Now, my hope there is that he might push forward to try and avoid the bombs. If he does, he's running right toward our Marco Polo and Buffalo. Enemy St. Louis takes out our North Carolina. Yeah, I'm going to try and get a shot over the island here. A little bit of a gap there. Maybe I can catch him and start a fire. We'll see. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Just a little bit of chip damage, but it did start a fire. And if you let it burn, well, that helps. And that's the kind of thing I'm talking about uh, when I say... These ships are, uh, at least to me, more of a support role in most cases. I was really hoping Cleveland would push out there. And he is pushing out there. You can see I'm loading AP, but he's already making his turn. No, nope. straightening back out. Let's see if I can get anything but overpens here. I don't think any of those battleships can catch me. How about that? Okay, so I'm going to move forward just a hair, get a little closer to the islands, just in case I have to run. North Carolina is he's within bomb range, so I'm going to go ahead and hope that the planes get there. You can see he was trying to get out of the way, trying to prevent himself from getting sunk by that buffalo who was trying to uh, execute a ram. A <laughs> thousand damage. Four non-pens, one penetration. Uh, disappointing. And you're going to see a lot of that. Not just, you know, for me, but if you play the line, you're going to run into that a lot yourself. Our Eddie takes out there North Carolina. And this has turned into a bit of a rout. They've lost half their team. We've lost two ships. Our ZF-6 and Kagero are both in bad shape, so anything is still possible, I guess, but... It is really not looking good for the, this team. Now I am detected. I uh, just sit here and I'll go dark. I'm already moving forward a little bit. Try and be able to turn and get away from the egg if it's still targeting me. And there's Citadel number two on the multi as he pushed in toward the Marco Polo and Azumo. Now I'm going to drop some airstrike bombs and hope that Egger will set more like flat broadside 
I'm targeted by two, so I'm just going to try and get, get out of the way. Minimize the number of ships that can shoot me. I did did land, well, 13 bombs, uh, nine penetrations, and four that weren't. Started a couple fires. Although I've got three kills here, I'm just at 57,000 damage, although it's, you know, it's still climbing, depending upon what happens here. But uh, not a lot of damage. I like to think that the threat of the airstrike may have slowed down their push, but it certainly isn't uh, what I'd consider overpowering. Now, I I know that there is at least one CC who thinks that these things uh, are really bad for the game. I'm not sure about that. Um, he may be right. He's a better player than me, sure. Uh, but I'm not sure that these are as game-breaking as he seems to think. They probably do contribute to a more campy meta. That I wholeheartedly agree with. But as far as I'm concerned, we're already there, like, completely. So is this going to make it worse? I guess you could argue that. I, I don't know how much worse. Managed to get a fire started. Bombs drop. And I catch him when he has 45 HP to pick up kill number four. <laughs> so I'm sitting at just under 67,000 damage with four kills. Only two ships left, and, you know, this is going to be over in fairly short order here. So let me just give you some of the, the particulars on this, sh this ship. The guns are 240s. Uh, the Harlem, right before this, is 203. So these are 240s. You've got uh, nine guns. Three turrets with three barrels each. The reload time, well, it's not great. It's a, a base reload of 16 seconds. Firing range, as you can see, it's not all that good. Base firing range, uh, well, let me let me click here, and I'm going to pull up all the, the proper stats. Um, okay, so fully upgraded, base firing range is 16 kilometers, which is meh. Uh, you're going to have to get fairly close in order to be effective on some maps. You've got 12 kilometers on your airstrike. HE shells, they do a maximum damage of 3,400 with a 20% fire chance. AP shells, if you catch somebody for a citadel, can do up to 6,100 damage, which is pretty decent. But they don't have great pen values, so it's really tough to get that unless you're shooting cruisers like I was in this game. Uh, secondaries, well, they're really not a whole heck of a lot to speak of. You've got an almost 7 kilometer range on them base, but if you're using them, you're probably in trouble. Max speed, about 32 knots. You can get a flag to get a little bit more out of it. Turning circle, 740 meters. Rudder shift, 11.9 base. And your surface detectability base is 12.72 kilometers. And as you can see, you can get that down quite a bit. My base detectability is about 10 kilometers right now. Since this is almost over, I'll say thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.